We want to join now uh, Jim Axelrod, senior national correspondent for CBS News, uh, who's standing by along with uh, CBS News's executive editor, Steve Kappas. Jim? Well, Josh, as you can see, there is uh, a massive uh, response from emergency workers that's underway here right now. Uh, this truck uh, just came into view within the last 30 seconds or so. We're actually waiting to get a briefing from the emergency response uh, folks who are going to got a microphone uh, stand set up right over there and of course they're going to give us the very latest uh, because at two and a half hours or so since this accident still very many more questions than answers but I want to bring in right now uh, Steve Kappas the executive editor of CBS News and the uh, executive producer of the CBS Evening News who also lives a few blocks from the station so you were here uh, minutes after the crash yes yeah, shortly thereafter and and what we saw were hundreds of people coming out of the train station many of them days a number of people uh, with seeming like head injuries bloodied clothing holding bandages to their heads everyone looking dazed uh, and emergency responders really just doing a terrific job trying to assess who was seriously hurt and, and who needed, who was okay. Based on what you saw minutes after, and then I give you the numbers, three dead, at least 100 hurt, multiple uh, injuries deemed critical. Do those numbers surprise you? I, it, it wouldn't surprise me if the injured number is low, be, just given the sheer volume of people we saw. What they, they set up a triage area in what is a parking lot. And you know, this is an eight o'clock hour, right across the river from New York City. This is going to be a crowded train station. You're going to have concern for not only the people who were on the train, but also the train left the tracks and there was structural damage to the uh, station. So you're going to have people on both sides and, and concern about people who would have been gathered here. So this is a station that dates back to the early part of the 20th century. So, And you know what construction was like then. The fact that it crumbled like that gives you some sense of what the force must have been like. Uh, an enormous amount of force, but also this is a building that, as you note, was built in 1907. This particular train station suffered a lot of structural damage during Hurricane Sandy, and that was in the underneath part. The, uh, there is a subway station, the PATH station under here. Uh, that was not involved today. However, you do have to wonder about the structural integrity of the overall facility, given when it was built. It's a beautiful trains platform, but this is the, the terminal point for a number of new Jersey transit rail lines, and there's something like 15,000 commuters who pass through here every single day. And at 845, obviously, we've had reports that this particular train was just packed tight. I just want to, though, underscore one point that you sort of raised. The injuries would appear not to have just come from inside the train, but this train left the tracks and into the station, so it's conceivable people just doing their business, milling around, waiting inside the station could have been hurt. Yes, and then, you know, there's obvious concern about that. The number of people we saw uh, hurt, uh, most of them were okay walking out under their own power. Everybody dazed, understandably, but then there were a number of people, probably a dozen or people that I saw re removed on stretchers. One person who was not conscious. I saw another guy with a, uh, a broken leg, uh, just lying on the ground uh, and so yeah it was quite a chaotic scene. Steve Kapp is executive editor of CBS News uh, as you can hear from Steve just a harrowing situation inside the Hoboken uh, train station early this morning Josh again we are waiting to hear from officials here in front of the station and of course we'll get back to you just as soon as we have a little bit more to report. All right Jim Axelrod and Steve Kappas again gentlemen we do appreciate it all.